everyone. This is a beginner's guide to ukulele. So today in this video we're going to be looking at the ukulele and all the different parts. We're going to be thinking about how we hold the ukulele and we're going to be looking at the open strings and their names. The head of the ukulele is this part here and you can see on it it has four of these knobbly things that you can twist. They're called tuning pegs. And the tuning pegs help us to tune the strings because each peg is attached to a string that runs right down here to this part called a bridge and that holds all the strings in place. Let's get back to the tuning pegs. So they can be twisted clockwise or anti-clockwise to slacken or tighten the string. I'll give you a demonstration. Um, I'll take the third string here. same turning it anti-clockwise this time and up it goes back to where it was and you can take it higher be careful not to over tighten your strings because that could lead to your strings snapping okay so this is the neck here the neck of the ukulele holds the fretboard and the fretboard is this black piece of wood that you can see at the front here underneath the strings and the silver lines that you can see are the frets. Now when you want to change the pitch of your note you are going to press in between each of those lines to change the pitch and to make it higher. And then when we want to play things like chords you you have certain places that you have to put your fingers so if you wanted to play an F chord like this you need to put your fingers in a certain order to make, it's like following a pattern. We'll learn more about that uh, as we go. Uh, the body part of the um, ukulele is this part here and that holds the bridge and inside here is hollow um, and this hole is the sound hole which lets the sound amplify and come out into the, uh, and the sound to come out into the room that you're playing in. So, ta-da! You know now all the parts. We've got the Head, tuning pegs, neck, fretboard, frets, sound hole, bridge, body. And not forgetting, of course, strings. <laughs> is a really fun instrument to play. It's really small, you can take it places, uh, put it in your bag even. So it's great for days out and holidays and all those times when you want to relax. And I think when you play it as well, it's you get that kind of feeling. So you need to be relaxed when you play. So loosen up your shoulders, find a nice comfortable seat. And the first thing we get to do is to give our ukulele a wee hug. So we're going to wrap our right arm around the uke and just pull it towards us. So you should be able to support the whole of the ukulele with one arm and your hand at the top here. Um, our left hand is going to be used for playing the notes on the frets, um, but we don't need to worry about that yet. We're looking at the angle of our neck and our head of the ukulele, and it should be just going up slightly at about a 45 degree angle. I don't want to see anybody with their ukulele down here because that's not going to help you um, to play and also up here as well it's very difficult to see what you're doing so this is the perfect um, angle to hold your UCAT. okay so you can have a go at practicing that. Um, we have four strings uh, this is string four, string three, string two, and string one, and they have names. Now each one is tuned to a, sp a specific pitch that makes the ukulele sound as it does. Um, the first note that we get to here is on string four, and that's a G. Then we have C. Then E. you to 
try to do is to uh, memorize those note names for next time because our next lesson is going to be all about tuning our ukulele. So if we know about the strings, that's going to help us for the next time. So I'm going to give you a little mnemonic here, something that's going to aid your memory, uh, that's something to remember the notes by. So the mnemonic I like to use for G, C, E, A is goats can eat anything. If you've ever met a goat, you'll know what I mean. So I hope this video has been useful to you today. We've learned all about the names of the parts of the ukulele. We've learned how to sit well and we've learned the names of the open strings. Okay, I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Take care.